Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have a Rich TV Live with two very special guests, the CEO and CMO of Flora Growth Corp, Luis Marchand and Jesse Kasner. How are you doing today? Great. Doing great, Rich. Fantastic. Thanks for having us. Excited to have you both on the show. Excited to learn more about Flora Growth. And I have a question. My first question is, Flora Growth is a global cannabis company building a connected, design-led collective of plant-based wellness and lifestyle brands. Can you tell us a little bit more about the company and what you do? Yes, Rich. Look, our company is founded under three strategic growth pillars. Uh, the first one is our wholesale and commercial operation, which is anchored by our cultivation facility out of Bucaramanga, Colombia. Uh, it's a beautiful 100 acre facility where we're growing cannabis, both psychoactive and non-psychoactive for export worldwide. And we also have four laboratories that uh, allow us to manufacture a wide array of products uh, and white label solutions for businesses all over the world. Our second uh, strategic pillar is our house of brands. And we have a robust portfolio of brands and products that are being distributed worldwide again. And then our third growth pillar is our life sciences division that is focused, focused on uh, providing scientific based research to the communities and ensuring that the therapeutic benefits of the cannabis plant are taken advantage of. Fantastic. And what sets Flora Growth apart from other cannabis companies? I'll jump in if you don't mind, Luis. You know, I, th I think the thing that sets Flora apart from other companies um, is, is really what makes us the most valuable in that we had the ability to, to look and see what the initial movers had done in the cannabis space. We were able to learn from, from everything that they did and really build out a fundamentally different value proposition, which is that we understand that cannabis, while right now seems to be very regional, is ultimately a global industry. Um, and that's the foundation that we've set for our business with a grow operation in Colombia, like Luis mentioned, um, as well as the other two pillars of our business that allow us global access to any market we choose to be able to take advantage of uh, the sort of plant-based wellness movement that we see rippling across the globe. Sounds really exciting. And my next question is, Flora's farm and extraction facility are located in Bucara, Manga, Colombia. What are the benefits of growing in this location? Rich, I'm, I'm very proud that you pronounced that exceptionally well. And uh, I, I, will, I will say... You know, when you're, when you're thinking about the, the global cannabis trade, uh, you want to make sure that you grow in the most optimal conditions. The majority of the North American growers today are doing it indoors, and that requires a tremendous amount of infrastructure. It requires a tremendous amount of investment, and to operate it on a, on a year-round basis is very expensive. In Colombia, we're growing at an all-natural, under all-natural conditions, that are being replicated indoors in, in North America. We are 3000 feet above sea level. We have nutrient rich soil, th constant winds of three miles per hour. And of course, because we are on the equator, we have no seasonality, which means daily sunlight 365 days, days per year. So all of these conditions alongside the fact that Colombia is one of the biggest agricultural commodities producer of the world, uh, made it a, an easy choice for us to have our cultivation facility there. Now, the company recently added category leading wellness brand Just CBD to its growing portfolio of yeah. brands. Can you tell us more about this? And are there any other acquisitions you would like to highlight? Yeah, Just CBD was a really exciting acquisition for us. Um, obviously, they are a leader in the space, um, which informs the way that we approach m and more broadly, right? It is a category that maybe we don't currently address. Um, they have positive financials, obviously a key to the m and strategy, but most importantly is the human capital that we acquire. Our goal is always to bring our, that team internal as they know the keys to success for their business. And uh, Just CBD certainly has that in spades. They've been able to grow their business in a very short amount of time. They launched in 2017. Um, they are in 14,000 points of distribution globally. They have 300,000 customers that they communicate with directly every day through their e-commerce store. Um, and so when you think about that, 
from an acquisition standpoint, it was obvious that it was a, a very attractive acquisition for us. And, and again, it was a focus on the people that really made the difference there. That's and then fantastic. if I can uh, highlight an additional acquisition, Rich, obviously yeah. we just completed uh, the vessel transaction in the second quarter, uh, in the in the fourth quarter of 2021, and the vessel transaction in similar attributes, right? We, we had an incredible, talented team. Uh, Jesse, of course, was one of the founding members of, of Vessel and is now our chief marketing officer, but also James Cho, the founder of the company and CEO. They're incredible at what they do. They understand the cannabis consumer. They understand brands and how to bring products to market and build relationships with consumers and communities one at a time. And now they are bringing that incredible know-how, including their experience on direct-to-consumer across the entire portfolio of brands at Flora Growth. Now, Flora Growth has also been expanding its global distribution. Which new markets have you entered this year and which ones are you targeting next? So this year, we, uh, we've actually had a bunch of great news come out even just this week. Uh, so Vessel, uh, earlier this week, we announced that Vessel launched in Canada, which as the most mature cannabis market in the world um, was obviously a very compelling place for us to be. We've, we've sort of, you know, had, had a couple of tentacles there, but we really made a meaningful push with a direct-to-consumer site and a listing on OCS, um, which should provide us some really great reach and coverage we're very excited about. Um, in addition to that, Just CBD, like I mentioned, mentioned already had a certain level of global reach, but now we actually have an office in the UK that's supporting our, our uh, distribution and logistics in the region. We have two distribution hubs, um, one in the UK, one in the Netherlands that we're really excited about. And what that's providing us access to is not only distribution of just CBD products that are registered with all of the correct bodies, but it gives us points of distribution to leverage as we get pickup on some of our more nascent brands like Mind Naturals and even Vessel in the European um, community. Now, last year, Flora Growth appointed Dr. Annabelle Manolo Morgan as its lead scientific advisor and formed the Flora Pharma division. What does the company hope to achieve in this area? And are there any upcoming catalysts investors should keep an eye out for? Absolutely, Rich. Look, our life sciences division is focusing on unlocking the therapeutic benefits of the cannabis plant. Uh, we currently have four patent pending formulations that have been developed by Dr. Annabel Manalo Morgan, who, who has a very personal story with the cannabis plant. Uh, she, she treated one of her five children with a cannabis formulation that she patented and uh, was able to effectively cure her son uh, from, a, from a, a very, very uh, challenging ail ailment uh, as he was a newborn. And, and we're taking those, those formulations to market. We wanna make sure that we impact the lives of patients in a meaningful way. I think the biggest uh, um, the, the biggest development that that investors should look for uh, forward this year with regards to life sciences is the launch and approval of of our clinical trials with the University of Manchester that are currently being reviewed by the NHS. Once once this approval comes, we're going to be able to take some pharma grade formulations to market and be able to to um, uh, present some some. Uh, pharmaceutical grade products to consumers to support some of these ailments. Now, Flora Growth prides itself on its people. Who are your key team members and what do they bring to the company? Well, I'll jump in first. Uh, <laughs> Louise, don't blush. Um, it really does begin with our people and that comes really from the top down. It was, um, I, I will tell a quick anecdote, but when we were going through the process of sort of what I'll call the courting stage of acquisition um, between Flora and Vessel, Louise came out to our offices and spent the entire day with our team and just sat and listened um, and asked a million questions about our business and what we were doing and, and really invested the time and made it very clear that that was the business that he wanted to lead and create into the future, which ultimately gave us the confidence to, to make the move to join Flora. Um, and so I would highlight Luis as, as a primary leader um, and an exemplary employee about what it means to, to have a people first organization. Uh, and I'm good. Thank you so much, Jesse. I appreciate that. Uh, I, I will highlight that it's a uh, it is the, the foundation of everything that we do at our company uh, from our board of directors uh, we want to make sure that we separate ourselves from the from the balance of the cannabis industry. It's important to us that we have a, a fully independent board, and we're working towards that. And we continue to strengthen the board 
uh, with incredible talent and a couple of members that I like to highlight are Tim Leslie, who's a former Amazon executive who led, the, led early on the, the, the Amazon Prime efforts. And then Mark Mastronardi, who's the current chief stores officer at, at Macy's. We continue to add multidisciplinary leading leaders that are focused on governance, that are focused on the fiduciary duty that a company should have towards the shareholders. When you look at the officers, we have an incredible uh, talented team. And I, I will be remiss not to mention uh, Jesse Kastner, who has, who has been uh, instrumental in elevating the brand, not only for our brand portfolio, but the Flora brand. And it's shown, is 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 reflective in everything that we do today, but all the way down to our agricultural skilled workers. We're hiring only people in our communities, in our in our farm. We, we're making sure that we are impacting even a positive way all those communities that we're operating in, because that that truly is what we're, what we're here for to to uh, make a meaningful impact in people's lives. What should investors be on the lookout for from floor growth in 2022? Luis, take it away. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll take this one. Look, you know, this is this is the year where where we're able to build on on all the incredible milestones that we achieved on in 2021. Uh, 2021 was our first full revenue generating year, and it was it was full of incredible uh, announcements like listing on the NASDAQ under the ticker FLGC, like raising enough capital so we could deploy our m and and execution strategy, like completing our first full revenue year where we, where we delivered $9 million in revenue. Now we expect to at least quadruple revenues this year. Uh, we we uh, just had our biggest revenue month to date in April which is last month. And we expect our next biggest revenue month today to be May. And we expect that trend to continue every month going forward. So this is the year where we show the investor community as a, as a whole that our three growth pillar strategy is going to be activated. And we're gonna put some big numbers up on the board. Finally, my last question, how can investors get in touch with you guys? Well, you can find us on all the major social media platforms at Flora Growth, or we're always happy to answer any investor questions or prospective investor questions at investing at floragrowth.com. Fantastic. Thank you both for joining us. We are here today with Luis Marchand, the CEO, and Jesse Kasner, the CMO of Flora Growth Corp. The symbol is FLGC on the NASDAQ. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we believe that Floor Growth Corp is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Thank you for joining us today, Luis and Jesse, and hope you guys have a lot of success moving forward. Thank you so much for having us. We're excited to come back soon, hopefully, with some even bigger, better news. Thanks, Rich. Always a pleasure. I've told you guys, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, and we bring them to you first. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with Luis and Jesse from Flora Growth Corp saying, have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thank you.